Hello, I'm Kara from Karen Co Creative, and here we do websites, tech support, and basically everything you need to run your service based business online. Today I have the quick and dirty um, Canva logo tutorial. So there is a much longer video available, but if you want something that's short and sweet, this is it. So I'm going to take you over my shoulder and into Canva. So I will show you that essentially, I don't follow my own advice here on my website as I have this more square formatted logo, but it works because you can read all the letters. Um, it is difficult with a square formatted logo because a lot of times it will make your menu bar look a lot bigger and I'll show you on a different page, um, here. So we definitely, we don't like to have the menu take up too much space because then what it does is it sort of like delays the reader getting into sort of the meat of your website page. So. That is why sort of like the thin menu bar is sort of in vogue right now. So I typically recommend is having a longer formatted logo um, like this website. You see the psychology and personal growth, Galvin Growth Group. It has a little tree icon, but all the text is to the right of it. And that's so that it can fit in this menu bar without making the menu bar nice and big. If you're somebody who wants a really big, bold logo that you follow that square format, you're going to have to do something more like this or that logo sits above the menu bar because this logo, the text would not be legible if you put it here in the menu bar and try to keep the menu bar slim. So if you want this style of logo, you're going to find an easier time using Canva because they like this style of logo. But if you want that slim menu bar, you're gonna have to do something else. So here, if we go into Canva and you go to create a design, if you select logo, what you will find is that most of their logo templates are in that square format. So you see here, we have a nice circle logo. We have this one. Um, even these ones are square, but there's tons of white space. So if you use this design, this would work. But then what you would need to do is sort of download this and crop it so that you're only dealing with this sort of thing. So you can do that. You can download it. You can crop it. Um, if there is a background, you can delete it and download it um, transparently so that you can have that PNG logo for the back, or sorry, for your menu bar on your site. Um, so I do recommend that looking for the templates that are long and thin so that you can crop them when you're done. Um, and I don't recommend using a background color. I would remove the background color. Um, and then you could download it um, as a PNG and that gives it that transparent background option. You only have that option if you have a paid account. If not, you're going to want to probably have a white menu bar and download it on a white background. All right, so that is the easiest thing to do is to find a format that's long and thin. If you want to do something else, um, you can try to take one of these other ones and try to move this design to the side. So that they have a nice little thing. So you could do this and probably shrink these a little bit. So it's 115, we'll try 75 and 75. and try to arrange it the way it was. I know, cool font, brown sugar. All right, so now you have this, and again, you can delete the background and then you, or put it on a white background if that's easier. And then you can, so white all the way up in the corner. All right, and then you can download it and you can crop it so that it is long and slim and it can go in your menu bar. The other thing you can do is come back out and create a design and choose the custom size option. And here for a logo, I tend to like to do um, 500 by 100. And if you need high resolution, you just add 5,000 times 1,000. So we'll create that. All right. And now this gives us a way. It's going to give you lots of bannery things, but here, you can create your text. So I'm Cara Ferreira, this is my brand font. Make it really big. And then if you want, you can go to the elements and you can like, if you want, let's just say pineapple. So if that's sort of my icon, not the most sophisticated logo, but you can play around with finding different things like here, flower detail. Probably could go with sort of like a 70s vibe here. 
you can go with whatever you want, like this sort of a thing. Put that here, you can even position it backwards. Um, and then again, you also do not need the icon. There's lots of very simple text-based logos if you do this and then sort of add subtext. Um, if you find that the 5,000 times 1,000 is too long for your name, you just abbreviate that 4,000 times 1,000, and then you have a nice slim logo for your menu bar. All right, so that is the quick and dirty version of Canva logos. It does help just to have something in there. Again, you can just do a text-based logo with a text that is complementary, but slightly different from the text on your website, and then you're good to go. Um, just remember, slimmer better for the menu bar. Otherwise, you have to put that logo up top center. All right. Hope this helps and we will see you next time.